Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Juju and I hope that you guys are having a fantabulous day. So as you guys see that I have a protective hairstyle in. As you guys know that I am transitioning from permed hair to natural hair. And let me tell you something. Girl! The struggle is real. Okay? You know, when I started this process, I thought that it couldn't be that bad, okay? Um, I have found products to slick my hair back, make it look beautiful, nice shine and everything. But that's all you could do. It's like I use the Cantu products and the, um, the gel, the olive oil gel. And, I mean... That's all you could do is slick your hair back. And as you guys know, if you guys know me, I get tired of things really easily. Especially when it comes onto my hair. I get tired of the same old look. Okay? Um, I just, I, 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 I don't know how I'm going to get through this process. Let me tell you something. Two weeks ago, I was this close. I was this close to perming out my hair. I even went and bought the hair, the perm. I did. I did. I went and I bought the perm. And I said, okay, Janine, let's think about this. Before you do it, just, just, just think about this. So I ended up putting the perm aside. And what I ended up actually doing, I took the perm and I stuffed it like all the way into like the bottom of a bin so it's not easy access just in case I had that thought again of wanting to perm my hair out so, so because I felt like if I had left it on top of you know where I have my, my, my hair products like I will be tempted to do it but I'm telling you it's very difficult and you see the problem is is that you can't do nothing when your hair is going through that process or that transition you cannot do nothing with it all you could do is just slick it back that's it you know i i was just of the impression that oh you know i could you know put spiral rods in my hair and you know like have that wild curly look girl bye okay that was not happening i tried that once it turned out to be, into be a look like a big afro hot mess poof like it was a hot mess so it was like I just couldn't do it I was just like forget this so I ended up just combing it out and just slicking it back like I usually do so <laughs> I don't know I just have to just keep praying I feel like I have to go fast like you know sometimes they say you know to get through something you have to literally like you have to fast maybe I need to fast or something to get through this because you got to be so strong not to be tempted, you know, to, 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 to go that other, go back to, 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 to where you were before. Seriously. You know, um, I am not happy with the color. As you guys know, I think I mentioned this before. Once you color your hair, it is so hard to go back. And that's another thing that, that, that I'm going through too with, with the natural hair because you can't put, you don't want to put no kind of color or no kind of perm in there. So that's another struggle I'm going through. You know, the majority of my hair is black. My hair is about this length now, you know, by in my neck. Because I've, what I've been doing every month, I've just been chop, cutting, I don't say chopping cutting off you know the ends like maybe like a half an inch just cutting off the ends so that you know it's healthy and um you know they did say they say you have to do protective hairstyles now i'm not really into braids or you know hairstyles like this um but i said you know what let me try it um i got braids maybe like three years ago and they were beautiful you know i went in and i told my hair just that i wanted like the little fine ones not micro braids but but you know just they weren't micro but they were small i wish i had a picture to show you guys and they were long i said i wanted long all the way down by my butt let me tell you something it was beautiful but girl it was so heavy i probably had 
I swear I had about over 500 braids in my head. It was <laughs> it was so but it was beautiful. Um I couldn't, you know how you, the girls they could put their hair up into a bun and it look I it look cute. I couldn't do that because it was so much hair, so much braids. I could not do that. The thing is my hair is very thick. So one person that may have 200 braids in their hair i may have 400 like even with this you know my hair is very thick um it's not that heavy um i thought it was gonna be a lot more heavier than this but it's not that heavy i did do my hair like this maybe um probably almost three years ago because i think i did it like right a few months after the braids and um you know it was it was much bigger the 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 lock was a lot bigger so um with these locks i don't know i mean i don't know if it's because it's finer it's thinner it's smaller so it doesn't feel as heavy it doesn't feel as heavy and you know it's it's pretty long um not it's probably like i'm gonna say like it touched like maybe like the very like the top of my butt that's where it ends um so you know i just want to tell you how i ended up with this style um this was not the original style that i wanted to go with um it was like i wanted to do the butterfly lock i went and i bought it um nice color it was a number 30 and um when the girl tried to put the lock onto my hair the i don't know like the hole the hole to the top of the lock was like it wasn't big enough so when she tried to loop it through you know she hook it on and loop it through it was like a hard time coming through the hole she got she got it through but it was a hard time you know bringing it through the hole and then it was like the lock was getting messed up like getting all fuzzed out so i was like very disappointed so it's like she had this hair like you know um she had bought it like um few days ago because we were talking on the phone and I told her I said I wanted something with color in it and she had just bought it just in case and I said let me go look around myself so um, I wanted to do this I was looking for this but with more color but they didn't have it so um, at least that particular beauty supply store I probably should have went to like Jamaica Avenue or to Brooklyn I'm sure they would have had it but um what do you call it um so i couldn't find it so you know i was also running like running running against time because you know um i leave for um for my trip tomorrow so and i had so many things to do so she had the hair she was like you know what you want to try this you know i can when i wrap it i can wrap it with like you know like a lighter hair just to make it have that illusion that you have more color in your hair so i said okay fine you know let me try it so um you know she did and it didn't come out it didn't come out so bad after all so as you could see you know like she, she the wrapping here that she used it's like you know she used a little bit of blonde with it and just wrapped it around so it didn't come out that bad don't get me wrong i love the hair stuff but i just wish that the color was lighter um i don't know i'm probably gonna try to see if i could find some kind of spray or something i could spray in the hair and make it <laughs> make it lighter um I know they have this spray from back in the days but i don't even want to mess with that spray because it is very messy like you spray it on your hair it messes up your clothes and everything but i'm like hoping to myself that maybe they have advanced somehow to get like a spray that that you know just like how they have the the waterproof makeup like get a spray that doesn't run on your clothes so you know i'm gonna go and investigate to see what i could find but you know as of, as of that you know I'm very um I'm happy with it. The hairstyle is cute. I'll probably keep it in for like a month the most. Um I would I wanted her to leave out more baby hair, but she said you don't want to leave out too much baby hair because when it gets loose, you know, more hair is gonna come out. So you you don't want to you wanna start out without as little baby hair as possible. So you know it's not that bad. Um so you know I'm I'm just gonna have to work with this until you know another 30 days or so but i'm gonna get it together i know i know there's got to be a way where um i can you know put some color in there somehow i'm gonna figure it out by the way remember i was when i was talking about my um 
my ponytail my synthetic ponytail maybe like two videos ago yes i did dye it okay they said that you can't dye synthetic hair but you sure can i youtube i watched a youtube video and i was able to get some color in there yes i did so you know i'm gonna see what i could do with this um right now i can't even really do no um hairstyles with it now because girl it is so tight let me tell you well right now i can move my head a little bit more but you should have seen me yesterday when i just got it done <laughs> my my boyfriend was laughing at me because he came to pick me up and he was talking to me and he was asking me a question and i was like um you know no i don't you know i don't know you know well maybe you could do this that and the third you know whatever the case may be and i'm like and he's looking at me and he was like what's wrong with you so i was like i was like what are you talking about what's wrong with me <laughs> so he was like you i'm talking to you or you're not even looking at me i was like i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> so he was like you are acting so strange so i was like going like this what's the problem <laughs> so he was just like yo he was like you bugging that he was like laughing at me he was like listen i don't know what's going on with you but you bugging right now and i was like listen my hair is tight my hair is tight i just you know i can't move my neck as much as i could because you know especially down here it's much better today um you know it, they, they were like it was like one particular part where it was just pulling and i just couldn't move but it's much better today um still a little bit tight like up in here in the top but you know it takes a few days for it to, to loosen up usually it's like two or three days it's like if your hair don't loosen up within two or three days you know that that's a problem i remember i went to this girl maybe like it was a long i'm gonna say prop about 10 years ago i went to her she did my weave and the weave was nice nice and flat but let me tell you something it was so tight it took about seven days before that hair loosened up and seven days also of popping tylenol i was literally popping tylenol every six hours it was like i just it was like this i said this is not normal you know maybe for the first day you may pop a tylenol here and you know maybe once for the day but to be popping it every six hours for seven days straight i know my liver was like i don't know what you're doing but you need to stop immediately you know girl i said never again i never went back to her i felt like if i continued to go to her i would end up with alopecia okay i knew this lady as a matter of fact that used to get her she was an older woman she used to get her hair done so tight to the point where in she said uh, she wanted to do it tight because it lifts it lifts right here if you get your hair that tight to the point where it's lifting your face that's a problem like no that means if this is lifting up that means your scalp is like pulling up like like looking like little mini volcanoes like no why are you doing that to yourself uh-uh and that much pain is worth it no way mm -mm. don't do that to yourself and you and and you know what happened to her she ended up with alopecia so don't do that don't do that guys you should not do that it was like it is not healthy for your scalp no way so guys that's about it um yeah so you know i'm just gonna just rock with this okay and it's a nice vacation hairstyle because i can get into the pool okay you do it i already have a little pool party to go to so this is very good um where i'm you know where 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 we're going it's like um i'm i'm also supposed to be going to the beach i just thought of something I just thought of something i just this just popped into my head about the bathing suit that i plan on wearing <laughs> i just literally thought about something because 
there was these flip flops at Macy's. When I said it just popped in my head. When I said about the beach, there's a flip flop in Macy's that matches one of my bathing suit perfectly. I don't know where that came from, but I'm sorry, I just had to share it with you guys. You guys, you know, I do my videos and I don't do any kind of editing or so. So, you know, what you see is what you get. I may just have a little bit of moment. You never know what's going to happen. So, yeah, guys. So, you know, that's it. So, I started um, some of my makeup already, you know. Um, I put on my foundation and I did a little bit of eye makeup. Um, I think I, I think I showed you guys this before, but this is by specific, uh, Pacifica. I got this in my Ipsy bag, as I mentioned before. I believe I mentioned this in my, one of my vi previous videos. So I'm actually using this color. This is what's on my eye lids right now. Okay. And, um, I have this, my go-to eyeshadow palette. This is the color that I use on top. Okay, guys? So, that's it so far. So, I'm just going to put on my eyelashes. You know, so, okay. So, I was going to put my AC on, but the problem is when you have the AC on, you can hear it in the video. Okay, I'm sure that they have video um, apps to take out the sound, but you could hear the woof, and it was it's just not cool. So I'm sweating already. As I said, I'm under this ring light that's just burning me up. But I'm just gonna put on my eyelashes. So you know, guys, and for the first time. In a while, I'm actually taking two weeks off of vacation. Mm -hmm. Two weeks off, yes. Usually, I haven't done this in years. Usually, I only take like one week off. And it doesn't even make any sense to take one week off. Because you need at least one week to party. And another week to rest. <laughs> one week to party and one week to rest. Seriously. Because if you party and then you try to go back to work, you'll be falling asleep. The other day, I was walking on the unit and I saw this poor nurse. She looked so exhausted and usually she's very bubbly. And I was like, what's wrong with you? You know, and she was like, oh my God, I just came from vacation. And I was like, but you should be still rested. And she was like, listen, she goes, you know, I don't know what it is, Jalene. I flew back this morning and I'm just exhausted. I had, I had so much fun on my vacation. And, but then I'm like, I said, you know, I said, well, why did you come in today? Because it's very hard when you, um, it's very hard when you travel and then try to go back to work the same day. You're exhausted. Trust me. I did that before and I would never do it again. You know. You're literally like useless. So you know. I was just like girl. I said no. I said I told her. I said when you um traveling. It's better that you um. Take off that day. And then come in the next day. Because, you know, you're just pretty much exhausted. Trying to work and trying to keep up. So, you know, guys. Yeah, that's it. So, let me just... Oh, let me tell you. I gotta talk about this. <laughs> so, I got a camera to watch my cat while I'm away. It's called Pet, Pet Cube. But any when the time when there's any kind of motion, it gives off this little purring sound, and it's so freaky, and it just sounds so. Fr I wish I could do it. Um, I don't know if I could make the sound for you, but you know they ask you what kind of pet do you have when you're registering. What kind of pet do you have? So when the sensor goes off of the alert, it sounds like a cat purring. It's very like creepy. So it always like 
freak me out. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta find a way to take it off. It's just too creepy. <laughs> So oh guys, I'm just attaching my um, eyelashes in. I had bought a set, another set of eyelashes and I have no idea where I put them. Don't ask me where I put them. I was going to try them for this show and I don't know where they went. I bought them like two weeks ago. But you know, so I have so much stuff. Sometimes you have so much stuff and you don't even realize like how much stuff you have. So I don't even know. I don't know where I put them. I have no idea. So I got to go search it for them because um, it was like a pack of 10 that I bought. You know, I have to find it because I, I actually, I actually bought it for my vacation to go away. No, guys, when you're putting this on, just gotta make sure that it is directly. Hold on. Just gotta make sure that it's directly on the glue. What is going on here? You know what? I think I need more glue. I always have a problem with one of my lashes, always. It never fails. So this one is good. Meanwhile, that dries a little bit because you got to let it dry. Um, I'm going to put on my lipstick. This is by MAC. And guys, I don't really, I'm trying to use like lipsticks that are more natural. I'm trying to match my dress. How you doing? Look at this. It's always some scam calling so I don't I don't I don't want to put on too much of this that's a little bit because I don't want my lips looking like a monkey's butt <laughs> I spoke about that before the scone the cone let's try this again to see if I can get it on Okay, yeah, it's sticking much better now. Sometimes you can't let it, you know, this this glue thing is so weird because they said to let it dry for a little bit, but at the same time you can't let it dry out too much. So you gotta let it dry to the point wherein it's like kind of like gummy, like a gummy um, consistency. Yeah. So then you know. You just go like this and you make sure that it's on. You want to make sure that it's on properly too because then you know it definitely will fall off. Say no guys and then what I do is so that it doesn't look like it suddenly stops I just bring a little bit more glue the, of the eyeliner and just fill in the spots right there so that is it guys yes just kind of like just so it doesn't look like it stops suddenly. You want to make sure that it looks like a whole strip coming down. Because I get kind of annoyed when I see girls have it on. It just stops. Like, you could tell. Like, even although, okay, we all know that it's fake, but it doesn't have to be that it, you know, it doesn't have to be that it looks fake, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's because the fix doesn't mean that you have to show that it's fake. I'm just saying. What are you doing? 
And so that's it. Hey, hon. My boo just walked in. Hey, honey. <laughs> he shot. Did, did you guys hear that? It, it, it sounds like a, I don't know. It sounds like, not even a purr. It sounds like a tiger. I'm just like a cunt. Yes, guys. So, I am just going to line my lips a little. Does my lips look too pink? Because, you know, I don't want my lips to look, be looking like no monkey's butt. I'm done. I'm going to soften it out a little bit. I'm just always nervous. <laughs> I'm just always nervous. I don't want it to look like no monkey's monkey's butt. <laughs> That's why I don't really. I love pink lipstick, but you just got to be careful of pink lipstick. <laughs> you really have to be careful. I so, you know it kind of like matches you see the eyeshadow the lips and it matches a little bit of my shirt or my dress I should say I'm saying shirt dress I should say so you know guys as I said before I think I mentioned this before I can't really do too much with my hair because it is so tight just put a little bit more of my powder on because I'm sweating <laughs> And this girl had given me something to, it's actually a co-worker of mine. She gave me something to, um, that grows your eyebrows. I mean, I have, I have microblading in, you know, I, my micro, I, I did microblading, but you know, there's nothing wrong with me trying to grow the hairs there. I have a few hairs there, a few of them. So I'm going to try it. Uh, I tried it for the very first time last night I'm gonna see how it works I just have to remember to make it a part of my um skincare routine at night I think I need to get a smaller puff so I could get in between my nose and everything so guys you know that's it um I don't know let me see let me see if I could try something because you know it's so tight I'm trying to see if I can make like a little hairstyle going up like this <laughs> there's not much that I could really do with it oh girl girl <laughs> oh my god Let's see. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying and trying and trying. Something, you know, just to make it look a little more, um, something like that. I don't know. Every time I touch it, I'm like, ooh. <laughs> it's just like so. It's ten. It's not. I wouldn't even say it's time. My my scalp is just very tender. So you know, guys, I probably wear it something like this. But you know, there's so many other hairstyles that you could put it in. You know, you could put, you know, put it up like this in the in the half, split in half, or you know, with the. I doubt that I'm gonna be able to put the bun on top of my head because this is just too much hair. Okay, it's just too much. So, you guys, you know, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my show. And thank you for all the support. I did get a few more subscribers again. I really appreciate it. This thing is, like, so annoying. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It, it just literally sounds like a cat purring very loud. But it sounds, it sounds more like a tiger purring. Devastated. Can't. 
but guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching um you know what to do make sure you give me a thumbs up and you can share my video and don't forget to subscribe i hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your week and have yourself a fantabulous day what are you doing guys bye guys